Sony is both a multinational and multi-industry company. One of the largest manufacturers of consumer and professional electronic products in the entire world. The company holds first place in being the largest video game console company, alongside with it being the top video game publishing company in 2020. The company is also proud of being the largest music trademark company that owns sizable amounts of music and music videos, all of it with its rifle copyrights. Overall, the Sony Corporation is one of the most complete multi-industry media companies. But Sony didn't just become a multi-industry company overnight. For us to be able to understand how the company became an industry-leading company, let's look back on its history and capture its life-changing moments. It all started on September 1945. Masaru Ibuka founded a radio repair shop in the Shiryokiya department store in Nihonbashi, Tokyo. A fellow by the name Aiko Morita saw a newspaper article about Ibuka's new venture and, after some correspondence, chose to join him in Tokyo. With funding from Morita's father, they co-founded Tokyo Tsushin Kogyo Kabushiki Kaisha, which stands for Tokyo Telecommunications Engineering Corporation. In 1946, with about only 20 employees, the initial capital of 190,000 yen, this is the beginning of Sony. A couple years later, in 1957, the Sony TR-63, an inexpensive, shirt pocket-sized, all-transitor radio, wildly caught consumers' attention. It was the first pocket-sized transitor radio ever made, the first Sony-branded product exported to North America. In 1958, nearly 12 years after Tokyo Tsushin Kogyo started, Ibuka and Morita decided to rename their company Sony Corporation, which derives from Sonus, Latin for sound. After two years of renaming the company, Morita founded Sony Corporation of America in 1960, and in the following year, of 1961, the Sony Corporation was the first Japanese company to be listed on the New York Stock Exchange in the form of American depository receipts. Known for its production quality, Sony was able to charge above market prices for its consumer electronics and resisted lowering prices. Thanks to Sony's prevalence, today, we have many of Sony's branches alive and thriving, such as Sony Electronics, Sony Pictures Entertainment, Sony Interactive Entertainment, Sony Music Entertainment. We hope to see Sony continue to reach milestones in the future. As we progress through life, we also evolve with its technology.